Let's take a look at our blackberry sorbet. This is our juice that we're going to use, that we will be using, all right? I'm going to take this, we're going to set it on the side. I've tasted this to make sure that it has great flavor, that it's not bitter, and you'll need to do that when you work with fresh berries. Um, anticipate that uh, you may need a little simple syrup added to it or something to give a little kick. Now, as I said earlier, we're going to take and add our custard here to our ice bath. This is to shut down the cooking process. Shut it down. All right? And how I know it's ready is when it coats the back of a spoon and it stays on there, it's not running. So it's nice and thick. All right? Very simple process. Does take a little time. Remember, if you're not comfortable with it as of yet, take Keep your heat on a low temperature and work with it. Now, we would make ice cream, whisk it right on top of the heat, but you know, we won't play with that one yet. All right, now, just mix this up in our ice bath, and we're gonna go over to our freezer, and we're going to pull our base from the ice cream maker out, and get this blackberry ice blackberry sorbet going. This is my freezer. Beautiful piece of equipment right there. All right. Now, take, we set this in, and pour our ice in here. Top, and we'll turn it on. Only two notches, off or on. Very simple. Our other machine that we have here, this is a traditional ice cream maker. It is set up such that you would put ice, kosher salt, ice, kosher salt, a thin layer of salt, by the way, and um, we would build it up, and this is how we would make our vanilla ice cream. I already have some put together, so I'm not going to show you how to make that one. It's a matter of pouring it from here as we take it from here, after it cools down, of course. But you have to anticipate, if you're going to have a hot product and you're going to put it in here to cool down, it's going to take probably another 15, 20 minutes. In this machine, you begin to understand versus this one here, where you can look down inside it, all right? But you begin to understand, when it starts to get tighter in its turns, that the ice cream is turning thicker and thicker, all right? And that's important. So we're gonna, we would take this after it's cooled, bring it right over, pour it into our container here, pour it into our container, set the ice around, get everything all started, and turn it on, plug it right in, put a layer of ice, a layer of salt, a layer of ice, a layer of salt, and a good layer, all right? And it has a little um, water, um, so when your water melts, okay, a little uh, disposal just comes right out. Now, we're gonna put together our um, lemon granite all right we're using white wine and fresh mint and we take and we add that to our pan we use a cup of wine reduce it down to a half a cup all right we're going to take and make a simple syrup again and this sugar water solution again needs to be, um, the sugar needs to be dissolved, all right? So we take that and we set it up. This is my solution right here. This is what I have. Here is my simple syrup. And you see it has a nice body to it. It's a bit thick, as I can see. We have used 30 lemons to make this. Fresh lemons, yeah? And our wine mixture, 
I'm gonna leave this on so you can see that when it dissolves. Our wine mixture here, when you let it um, cook down with the mint, it, it just has a wonderful, wonderful flavor. Now, traditional granite, all right? You're going to take and pour the wine into the lemon juice, keep back the mint, and what we're going to do, mix everything together, and this is almost is similar to our Italian ice, and that's how they call it, the granite. We're gonna pour it into our flat dish so that it will freeze quickly. We're gonna cover this with plastic wrap and we're gonna set it in our freezer. All right? We're gonna set it in our freezer and we're all done with that one. This is how simple the granite is. This is something great to take and put in a cup. All right? Just garnish with a little mint leaf a little spoon, and you don't need much. Now, let me show you a couple of things here that we have. I have my blackberry sorbet, all right, all set and ready to go. I have my vanilla ice cream. Again, this is going to take about 20, 25 minutes in here. This one here is gonna take about 40, 45 minutes. Depends on the quantity that you have. Take and scoop this out. This, it's best to try to use it right away. Um, you could take, refrigerate it. Please, it is a custard. Make sure you do press plastic wrap right onto the custard itself if you leave it in a container on the side there. Here, we have a wonderful texture on this one. Okay, we have our lemon granite in the freezer. The other one here, we had put in a tin, two inch, two and a half inch cake pan here, deep wise. And what we're going to do is, in a traditional granite form, we take and just scrape off the top to get our shaved ice. Now, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind. We're going to put it right in a little cup. Remember, taste your flavor before you freeze it. If it feels to, to your palate a bit too tart, take, add in a little more simple syrup if that's what you want, if you want it to be sweeter. This one here is starting to freeze up 25 minutes, don't forget. And of course, if you're going to be using this machine as it begins to turn harder and harder, then you know you're starting to make your ice cream. So, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you soon.